it in my way. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront Hero Showcase. In this video we're taking a look at Boba Fett. Boba Fett is a highly versatile bo bounty hunter, excuse me, equipped with a variety of powerful weapons, and he has a thruster pack that makes him very difficult to track, as well as giving him aerial mobility. But before we look at his abilities and weapons, let's take a look at his emotes. You're more used to me, Dave. I'll get it done. As you wish. Like all other heroes and villains in Star Wars Battlefront, Boba Fett has three abilities. His first is his wrist rocket. This long-ranged ability allows Boba Fett to fire a powerful rocket from his wrist. This originally locked onto an enemy at any distance, but an update changed it to only lock on within 25 meters of the target. The lock on ability was also temporarily taken away to not lock on until the former update allowed it again. This is a very useful ability to jetpack up into the sky, rocket someone, and if you're close enough to lock onto them, do damage or kill them, and you fly off while being safe. Boba Fett's second ability, and in my opinion, my least used ability, is his flamethrower. This short ranged ability allows Boba Fett to fire a stream of flames at enemies. I don't use this ability as much because Boba Fett is supposed to be played long range, up in the air, firing with his EE3 rifle. So I only use this ability if Luke is after me, so I activate my flamethrower to keep him away while my jetpack recharges. So if he's smart, he won't run into my flamethrower and get hit, but sometimes they still will, and I'll take a lot of damage and sometimes die, but it's unfortunate. Boba Fett's th flamethrower, again, I don't use it as much. It does a lot of damage to Chewbacca, though, because he has fur, which is a nice addition that they added in the Death Star DLC. Boba Fett's final ability, if you would consider it one, is his thruster pack. Boba Fett's version of the thruster pack has its own way of functioning. Rather than boosting him a certain distance like the regular jump pack would, it allows him to hover above the ground, and it can only be used for a certain amount of time before it needs to recharge. It is, I think, above Boba Fett's health. You can see the fuel on his jetpack, and as it goes down, you will land, and then have to recharge before you can use it again, which means you are vulnerable, which is when your flamethrower is most likely to be used. Boba Fett's abilities work well together like all other heroes and villains, I like to fly up in the air, fire my rocket, and as soon as my jetpack runs out of fuel, I activate my flamethrower if anyone gets near me until my jetpack recharges, and as soon as that happens, I'm back up in the air firing with my rifle and my uh, wrist rocket. So I'm up and firing, or I'm down and protecting myself with the flamethrower. I'm never not moving around as Boba Fett because he doesn't have a lot of health, and when he's on the ground, he's very vulnerable. Like all the vanilla heroes and villains, Boba Fett was given a trait in the Rogue One Scarif DLC, his trait is called Bounty Seeker, and with kills, his jetpack fuel increases with kills or hero damage. He has a passive scan ping with increased distance for higher trait level. Each kill also replenishes jetpack fuel. So while he's up in the air killing people, his jetpack will stay active longer, and also a scan pulse will emit from him. The more kills you have, the bigger the scan pulse. This allows Boba Fett to find enemies that might be hiding, because he's a bounty hunter, so of course he will find people. They wanted Boba Fett to feel like he has the ability to hunt his next target and reward good play with sustained flight. So Boba Fett, if played correctly, will be able to fly a lot longer and find other enemies that might be hiding from you. So as a summary, Boba Fett is of course supposed to be used as a long range character up in the air firing his wrist rocket at enemies that are closer to him while he's in the air. They'll lock on and be killed. And using his EE3 rifle which fires a 3 round burst to kill enemies from a distance. As soon as his jetpack runs out, he will he should be moving around, running around, protecting himself until the jetpack recharges, and if an enemy gets too close to you, you will use your flamethrower, burn them alive, fly up again, and get back to killing people. Of course, using your trait to hunt down enemies, Boba Fett is very effective from a distance, so do not get up close to someone. You will die. I know from experience, I have died a lot. If this video helped you, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. I will be doing one of these videos for every other hero and villain in Star Wars Battlefront, as I have also done Luke, Vader, Han Solo, Emperor Palpatine, and Princess Leia. Um, ooh, there's a bug on my table. I just murdered it. Um, again, subscribe for, to stay updated for Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Battlefront 1 news. 
I will of course be covering the beta when that is out October 6th, October 4th, one of those two, I forgot. Uh, but I will be covering those. Please subscribe, comment, and like the video. It is greatly appreciated again. Thank you very much, and may the force be with you.